han vil altså på pinden. Well, my jet, I'm Pagan, all ready to go. Just in time as the sea is lapping the front of the anchors now. After our successful yult launch, we had some strong winds over the weekend, and of course, that released uh, poor Puffin, um, Dave Goddard's boat. Uh, and fortunately, it was noticed Andy and Richie went out, laid some anchors uh, on the Tuesday, put some anchors out so it wouldn't go any further. That's the problem. Uh, it just gets... We're fortunate in one way is that they land on the beach rather than on rocks, but having said that, it's still a pain in the neck. Uh, here you can see Puffin uh, anchors out now, and hopefully that will hold till the next day when Emma and I hopefully will go and retrieve it. What I need to do, though, is go and put a, a big anchor out um, so that it won't pull. And the, the difficulty of that is getting to it because it's way down the beach. It's a long way away from Heswell. It's a long way away from Thurston. So the difficulty is getting to it without any real effort because uh, I've got a 15 kilo anchor that I've got to take down. So next stage is get down there put an anchor out and get on it and sail it back this is the day with the difference uh rescue boat rescue in place now we're just gonna see how how close we can get uh just in the background there you see we've got dave goddard's boat rested up I don't know how close we can get with the car though because we've got a lot of kit to get to it. But we'll see anyway. I'll have a look. Look, I can go further down and see whether I can get better access. Unable to get the access that I needed, uh, the only choice was to go down by Sally's Cottage, which is about half the distance again. Uh, but at least it, it enabled me to carry the anchor. Um, uh, it was only three kilometres, carrying a 15. Uh, kilo anchor uh, across uneven ground and was uneven uh, but managed it in the end just about got there actually because uh, all the time trying to find out a way to get there quicker I just about got there uh, when the tide was coming in got absolutely soaked but managed to get the anchor out place that down and hopefully that wouldn't go any further down the beach uh, because what we were afraid of it only it's, it's a very shallow draft but we we're afraid of it getting washed totally up as as on the receding tide uh, because the the levels are dropping each day at the moment and we don't want it to drop too much so the plan now is to get to the boat uh, we'll get a dinghy out because we need to get a dinghy to get back but the weather's not looking good at the moment it's quite calm at the moment but uh due for strong winds in the next two hours so Hopefully we can get it sorted by then. Well, part two. Uh, we got the dinghy and we're headed out and we're doing well. But then we got a couple of big waves. It's absolutely soaked us. We're literally underwater with the dinghy. So we came back to empty it out. This is attempt two now to get out and get down and rescue this boat. Uh, don't know whether David's stuck or whether he's got in the boat. I don't know the situation really, but it looks like it's uh, it's on the bank still. Let's we'll see how it goes. But take take three. Two. Uh, we got absolutely soaked again, um, and it was obvious that with two of us uh, uh, and Kit, uh, it was just too low in the water, and the waves were just coming over the top. So the obvious thing now was to pull it down and see if we can get closer uh, by land. We notice Dave is on the boat and he's sailing back now. So he's there. Trouble is, he's going to have difficulty getting onto a mooring. So my job now is to go out single and get onto that boat and help him. The problem is, we've, we've had about six attempts of picking this mooring up, but every time we just get close, the wind blows us off it. So we're hoping we can, we can get the anchor down now. Uh, an anchor but the trouble is there's no chain on the anchor 
so we need that to grip fairly quickly and it's a uh, it's a heavy anchor it should it should grip but uh, at the moment it's causing chaos so we'll have another go anyway finally a couple of well nearly three hours later <laughs> she's on the morning thank goodness for that uh, managed to secure it uh, I say the anchor was a problem because it wouldn't hold because it's just got rope on it but uh, it's a bit of a nuisance really well we're heading back to shore now I don't know whether you can hear me or not you see the everything's rocking and rolling We're heading back to the moorings, uh, we're heading back to shore now, uh, we managed to get it secured, obviously I couldn't video the worst parts, uh, it's typical in it, I must get a system where I can put it on my head or something, there are plenty of uh, kit out there that you can do that with the camera, because I never get to show the good bits, but anyway, we managed to get it sorted and we're headed back now, even though we were still drowning, but we were on our way back to shore. Sure. We're on land. And the waves are, yeah, okay. <laughs> that is exciting. <laughs> One way to drag a, a dinghy back. Up the hill. She's in the back and hold on to the rope. It's a good way to go back. 